what's going on. Okay, so closet. here's the closet. Oh wow. Okay, it's not too bad, but we can. I, I know I can do with this. What about over here? We have done your archetypes. Mm hmm Okay. Now, what were your three top archetype personalities? It's the ambassador, the alchemist, and the provocateur. Okay. And I totally get that about you. That, you know, as an ambassador, I mean, I look at you, I've known you for a while, I've seen you in the world. When you walk, you walk with authority. You're always elegant. Uh, you choose clothes that are a little more sophisticated, a little more, um, I don't want to say uniform, but that are, um, that, that set off the, the vibe that you are a woman in business and mm -hmm. you're successful. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like more classic styles, simple, like you said, elegant. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, as an alchemist, I know you as a, you're a designer. Mm -hmm. So you're, it's all about the vision and the magic of the vision and taking something that's nothing and turning it into something, something. that is. Right? And I kind of like to do that sometimes with dressing. Like yeah. I'll think of putting an outfit together yeah. um, with that, stuff that's in fashion now. So, so, so mixing uh, the magic creative mm -hmm. part of you mm -hmm. in with the authoritarian, mm -hmm. the, uh, the ambassador woman of the world, right? Right, right. Okay. And then the provocateur? Dressing a little sexy sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. Showing, not afraid to show your femininity. Right, right. Well, you are a goddess. <laughs> yeah. And also appropriate to the occasion. Right, right. Right. So if you were going out at night, you would probably wear something a little, a little more, more provocative. Feminine. Exactly. Things like that. Yeah. Yeah, just depending on the night. Yeah, exactly. I think it's important. I think to be a provocateur is, is very important, especially in the business world. When you're out meeting people and networking, you want to attract people to you. Mm -hmm. And I think that whatever our assets are, God gave them to us. Hell, let's mm -hmm. use them, right? Mm -hmm. Mae West used hers. She did. Mel Monroe used hers. Mm -hmm. You know, but that teeters, the uh, provocateur that teeters on the edge of, what's appropriate and what's not appropriate, you know, the attention, because we want the attention, and yet what kind of attention? Mm -hmm. So, but the, with the combination of the ambassador, the alchemist, and the provocateur, you have a really wonderful um, combination of appropriate and sexy. Mm -hmm. So it's not cheap. Right, right. So good. Yeah, I don't like to look cheap. So now that we know this about you, okay. what's in here that has nothing to do with any of those things? That's just taking up space. What do you think? Okay. Uh, are you ready to part with some things? I am. Okay. I am. We're going to get to town. Okay. The first thing Mary Jane has completed my programs on finding your own fashion icon personality archetypes. So she understands who she is as a fashion icon and how she wants to present herself in the world as a confident and successful woman. She feels ready to let go of the things she doesn't wear and that don't support her inner beauty. So Mary Jane, let's start with the pants down okay. here. Let's go through here. Okay, what can you part with? The first thing, just go for the first things that you can part with. Things that you just really aren't wearing anymore or that may be too tight or are out of style. Probably some of the jeans. Okay, so yeah. pull them off, but leave okay. the hangers on. Okay. Here's where the inner work of letting go takes strength and courage. To support yourself in this process, imagine a woman in need receiving the lovely clothes that you've given away. Visualize the smile on her face and the joy it brings to both of you, both in giving and receiving. I don't know if I should keep these. I don't know. Or Dolce Gabbana. Dolce Gabbana out of style. Yeah. Nothing worse than a designer outfit that's okay. out of style. But they are cute. Unless you're, but are they out of style? Like, do you, are they boot cut? No, they're bell bottoms. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Do you have a charity that you like or a friend or a swap that you can go to where yeah. you can get As some good value? As a matter of fact, there's an organization here in Orange County called Working Wardrobes. Uh-huh. And they help uh, underprivileged women dress for success. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Do they give you a tax receipt? They do. They do. Can you use this tax receipt for your yes, business? Yes, I can. Yeah. So would you feel good about helping another woman yes, dress for success? Great. Yeah. Because yeah, you're really successful. It's a good way to give it back. 
So let's let's put that aside for okay, what's it called? The organization. Um, working wardrobes. Working wardrobes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Let's do that. Let's okay. start with that. And don't forget. And then you may have friends that you'll have something that you want to give to mm -hmm. someone. Gift to someone like you know your son's girlfriend, for example. That you might have something really cool that is for a younger girl now. Right. 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 Okay.